Back on the Anglers Extra pregame show, Jay Eisenberg here, joined by Garrett Whitlock of UAB for Catch of the Day. And Garrett, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Got to got to reach the microphone all the way up there. Your six five frame. We're lucky we fit you in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it helps you out on the mound, and you've got an interesting motion. You kind of throw not quite sidearm from the hip and not quite over the top. How did you develop your kind of slinging delivery? Well, it was interesting. Uh, went to a pitching coach, Jeremy Loftus, and uh, he threw me a ground ball and said, just throw it like I normally would to first base because I used to play shortstop. And I just threw it from that arm slot, and he said, try and keep it there when you're pitching too since it's more natural for you. So that's basically how it came about. So you said you started as a shortstop. When you made that transition to pitcher, what was it like? Uh, well, you know, like Little League, we always played both shortstop or pitcher and any other position, really. So it was just, it felt like that was what I was doing. So it wasn't too bad. Your freshman season at UAB, you threw 51 innings as a freshman, which is a pretty large amount for a first-year player to get. What goes behind, you know, making sure that you're, that you can go through all the entire season with that kind of endurance? Uh, we had a great, phenomenal uh, strength coach in Stuart Young. Uh, he did his job like perfectly, and then the arm care that uh, Coach Hopper had was phenomenal, also. And so I think that just getting our bodies ready in the off season and during, like, while we're playing the season, just helps out a lot. Coming into the game as a reliever, there's a mindset uh, of max effort and getting every guy out. And you're a guy, you know, with your heavy fastball, a lot of strikeouts. Is that kind of mentality in the approach? <laughs> it's funny because I started off. I really scared when I got in there, and then Coach Hopper just basically said, you know what, you need to either man up or shut up. <laughs> and so, you know, like, it, it has to be a mentality of, like, you know what, even though you're younger or anything like that, that you still got to have the stuff to beat them, and you just got to believe in it sometimes. Now, when it comes to here in Chatham on the Cape, you arrived maybe a week, week and a half ago. What was it like when you got that phone call and the opportunity to come here? It was pretty neat. I only got it three days before I left, so it was kind of a shock and, you know, it was a surreal moment just because, you know, it was like happened so fast. But now that I'm here, I'm loving it. The guys on the team are awesome and, you know, it's just a lot of fun playing up here. And what has that experience been like? First time you walked on the mound, whether it was at Veterans Field or away, what's that moment like? <laughs> it was at Orleans and it was uh, terrifying. <laughs> I was scared to death. I had so much adrenaline running through me and, you know, it was kind of just a blur. So I enjoyed it. and. When I got back down to the bullpen, it was kind of just like, oh my gosh, my heart's still like racing, but guys set out through good, so I'll take their word for it. <laughs> so they, they kind of accepted you now? I, I, th I hope so. <laughs> well, maybe that adrenaline rush will still be there whenever you take the mound next. Certainly a good performance from you the other night, and we'll see how you do the rest of the way. Thanks for joining us, Garrett. Thanks for having me. All right, Evan, back to you.